went through a procedure on inspection, cleaning, and lubricating the Wilkerson R21 regulator valve. Keep in mind this valve has already been removed from the machine, but if you were to remove yours from your machine, we want to have the tractor in the park position for the transmission, and we want to have all air pressure relieved from the row unit down force system. That being said, we'll go to the top of the regulator and we'll unscrew the regulator cap. There is an O-ring on this cap as well as a spring and the piston assembly that we'll be removing from this portion of the regulator. The, the cap and the O-ring. The spring is removed next. And the piston assembly. After the piston assembly is removed, we want to inspect to make sure it's got um, proper uh, lubrication. We want to inspect for any scoring, um, any O-ring damage around the top of the assembly there. Um, those sort of things would lead to, to air pressure failures. We want to clean out the old lubricant with a rag and cotton swab assembly. Next, we'll move to the bottom of the regulator. We want to use the snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring. We want to be using our safety glasses as PPE. Put the snap ring pliers on the snap ring. Simply remove the snap ring and set it aside. We'll remove the regulator bottom assembly here. Now keep in mind there's O-rings and two, uh, there's a bottom piston and a top piston here. O-ring around the top. There's an O-ring there. You want to be inspecting those and make sure those are clean and also, once again, make sure they're lubricated. Next, the uh, bottom piston comes out. Sometimes you'll have to use a pick and there's a lip around there. You can grab that out of there. And then once again, O-ring around that one. I'm going to be inspecting that, make sure it's got plenty of lubrication. Want to be cleaning out all the corners of uh, the regulator assembly here using a cotton swab. Make sure that you're keeping the assembly free of any dust and dirt. Want to be cleaning out all the, all the, uh, where the O-rings sit, where the snap rings sit. And there we go. So now we're going to go back through now that everything's been cleaned and, uh, and, uh, We'll lubricate all the O-rings and assemble the uh, regulator back together. This is a uh, Perker O-ring lube, so we recommend for all uh, regulator assemblies and O-rings. Just want to put a generous coating of of lubricant on the uh, on the O-rings and the assemblies here. Once again, we'll be using our cotton swab. Right. Slide that down in there, making sure that the O-rings seat, seat properly with the sides. Next, we'll put this O-ring in here. And then we'll assemble the bottom part of the regulator. We want to push that in there nice and tight so the, the groove around where the snap ring seats in is exposed. and. We're able to put the snap ring in. Once again, we're going to use our snap ring pliers to compress the snap ring and install it in its proper location. And keep in mind that there is a flying hazard there, so you want to be extra careful with that. We'll flip the regulators over. We'll lubricate the O ring on the piston assembly. as well as the piston itself. Once again, we'll use our cotton swab to get lubricant down in the slide assembly. And we will replace the piston inside the regulator. Next, we'll place our spring on the top of the U-cup and We'll install our cap.
Keep in mind after this regulator has been installed, after you install it, you want to keep in mind for any air leaks, any sort of uh, cracking or anything on any of your airlines. And that's it. Thanks for watching this service video. Call Environmental Tillage Systems with any questions or to order parts. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to view more videos. Find additional information on SoilWarrior.com.